Get the horse, people. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, I think I need to just get right into it. Um, I don't want to make a rambling video or say too much. I, I haven't rehearsed anything. Um, well, basically, let's talk about what happened last night. Okay? I am going to have a cigarette, people. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, somebody told me that this uh, YouTuber, the Scoville unit, uh, his name's Chris Fergalli, uh, was doing a, a live, a challenge or something last night. I didn't have my phone on me. Um, I think... It was like bath time or dinner time or something. I don't know. But I, I uh, when I checked my phone, I, I went and I looked. And I was coming towards the end of it. And I, and I heard uh, Chris just making a bunch of like crazy threats and stuff. So I, I started, I pressed uh, screen record on my phone. And I got quite a bit of it. Um, uh, it was just terrible. Uh, he was making um, all kinds of threats. Uh, against racist bigots and like, the FTG people with their with their shirts. That right? That's right. These shirts right here, people. And I'll leave a link on where you can get one. But uh, you know the whole racist thing and called people homophobes and then told them to take it up the ass and the man threatened arson, physical harm. I mean, murder really. Said he wants to, somebody's gonna find you and, uh, you know, hit you with a shovel, all crazy stuff. Um, again, I, I have uh, much of it uh, recorded, and uh, if you go check out the knife hoarder, uh, uh, a couple other channels, uh, they have, you know, the whole thing too. But um, it's disturbing. You know, and I took it as a personal threat, even though I, I, I never comment on the guy's live streams. Um, I don't think I've made fun of him lately. I know in the past I, I've said some things, but, you know, this guy just, he's, a, he's like a, he's on Facebook, I guess. And, and the day before yesterday, he made a post and put, you know, like my channel name in it, Gucci, uh, Knife Hoarder, Joe Hannigan, Space Monkey. He told his followers or on Facebook, I guess, if, if you watch our videos, then to unfollow him or whatever. Uh, called us racist, bigoted racists and everything. Now, I've never said anything racist to this guy. Um, he's a white guy. Um, but, like, what, what did I say that was racist? Um, sure, I've said racist things before. I, I admit it. But, like, what's this guy's problem with me? You know, um, I understand that I, I think he's of Italian descent. Um, I know that the Italians have their own thing with each other. Like, if he's Sicilian, I know, I, you know, I know, of, you know, people from northern Italy, they say derogatory things about Sicilians, you know, with the uh, Carthaginians or the Blackamoors or Hannibal or whoever. Um, that's none of my business, and I stay out of that. Uh, I'm not going to start bringing up, you know, other white people's heritage to, you know, rip them down or whatever. Like, if you're Italian and you want to rag on each other, go ahead. But I don't know what I said that was, you know, to make this guy so angry. You know, he made a, a Facebook post, and I don't even have Facebook. So, like, I, I see things that are publicly available or screenshots that people send. And uh, he, he keeps on and on. He did it a couple months ago with me. Um, his wife, who is part of the Scoville unit, so they're a team. Uh, you know, she uh, also makes, like, comments on his Facebook posts about me, uh, the knife hoarder, the space monkey, Joe... And whoever else he blasts, you know, they, they've ripped me apart before on, on Facebook and, you know, say that, 
you know, just awful shit. But I'm, I mean, I'm not on Facebook, so I don't know unless I see it or, or somebody sends it to me. But, uh, so he does that. And then a day later, you know, um, last night, um, he says the same things about racism, bigotry. He's going to find each and every one of us. Now, again, I, I didn't comment on his uh, video. I didn't say anything to him. I was just there to watch. I wasn't going to say anything or mock him or do any of the other stuff. Now, apparently, uh, I, I think he thinks that two guys did. Um, and, he, and he lost it over it. And he made all these threats about burning down everything you love he's going to burn everything to the ground he's going to come for everything uh we love until it's gone and there's nothing left hitting people with shovel a uh, whole bunch of shit and i felt like he was talking to me even though i didn't say any of these comments to the guy or anything and i and i haven't i haven't really ragged on the guy in, in a while but you know he lives fucking less than 100 miles from me you know, am I supposed to sit here and, and wait like, you know, my wife and my five-year-old son and me? And, you know, sometimes I work nights. So I'm not home. You know, is somebody going to come by here with a, five gallons of gasoline and set the fucking house on fire? You know, am I supposed to wait for that, Chris? Am I? You know, I'm not one to call the police. I'm not going to call the police. All right? But, like, why would you say that? You know, I understand you're a... Uh, young, um, foolish, hot-headed, um, I mean, I don't know how old you are, what, 33, 34 years old? I mean, I'm old enough to be your dad, so you have to realize that when you make threats like that, it's, it's not, it's not a joke, it's, you know, people have homes and families and, uh, you know, you want to make threats like that over chili pepper stuff? and and t-shirts and you got to realize that now you're playing with the big boys i mean seriously what am i supposed to do am i supposed to wait for this guy to show up or am i supposed to like i've said you know take a fucking 95 mile ride and get cigarettes two dollars cheaper a pack and and the gas 10 15 cents cheaper so i can go like uh, confront this guy or something is that what I'm supposed to do? Um, it's crazy. Am, am I supposed to sit here and wait? Am I? Am I? Like, everything I love. There, there, there's two people in this world who, I, I, man, I would kill or die for. You know? And um, when you start threatening to burn stuff down and go after everything you love until there is nothing left and hit people with shovels and how you're going to get revenge and then you promise it like you know like mark my words i promise and, and you're saying that publicly you know the, the stuff that the stuff that you said is criminal chris and uh uh i don't have the link for the league of fire stuff uh check out the knife order um I, after this video i will uh be sending uh an email to the league of fire as all of you should. Uh, he made uh, homophobic comments, actually. He's telling people they're homophobes, but then saying to take it up the ass and um, calling people racists that said nothing to him racist. And he's completely unhinged, completely unhinged, you know? And, and what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to sit here and wait, you know, for this fucking guy to roll up on my house with fucking gasoline and a book of matches? Really? I mean, the last thing that you want to do is come knocking on my door because we'll both end up famous. You know? We'll both end up famous. And you don't want to get famous that way. So what I think you need to do right now, Chrissy, is you need to apologize. You probably should drop out of the League of Fire, but that's up to you. I think they're going to throw you out anyway. And, um... I mean, you really need to apologize. I mean, for now, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe you misspoke. I know you were pissed off, but I take that personally, you know? And, and like I said, uh, you know, I was at home last night when I saw all this happening. And 
you were kind of unhinged. You know, it made me worried. Like, shit, should should I leave early? Should I go home? Is this fucking roly-poly going to come over here and burn the house down? I mean, think for a minute, man. Am I supposed to sit here and wait? And, and I'll tell you something. You know what you did yesterday, Chrissy? You took the attention off your uh, Johnny and Tommy Scoville. Because... I'm not fucking with them. No. Because you know what? As bad as they've gotten it before, and they've made some threats and thinly veiled threats and whatnot, they never said they're going to come burn the house down or uh, beat people into the ground with a shovel or rip their heads off. And uh, they, they've never said anything like that. So what you did there, Chrissy, is you gave them a break. And now the attention is going to be on you. The attention is going to be on you. And remember, the Scoville unit is a team. It's two people. And and I don't pick on, on girls. Okay? But, um... There'll probably be some thumbnails that'll piss you off. I mean... Oh, I'm sure there's probably going to be memes. I hear there's even t-shirts right now. Mocking you. What are you thinking? Come on, Chris, grow up. And Beth, yep, Beth, control your man, really. If you two were able to have children, if you were able to have children, you know, and you were blessed with a child, how would you feel if somebody threatened to burn down everything you love and do all that stuff? I mean, seriously. If you had kids, if you were even able to, like, why would you let it get to that? You know, why would you make threats like that? You know, th those are big boy threats, you know? And when there's only like one or two people in the world that, you know, you're supposed to watch over and protect and everything like that, why, why would you make threats like that and then think that it's just gonna go away? You know, and then you backpedal and try to talk about litigation and all that. Mm, a bit late, man. I mean, you're using these horrible, just, it's horrible. It's repulsive. And um, I'm just rambling now, so I hope you apologize, Chris. You know, maybe that'd be a, a step in the right direction. Drop out of the League of Fire, too. Hang those belts up. Because like I said, um... Anyone comes here, to, I'm not making threats. If somebody were to come here and they've already said that they're going to assault, kill, burn things down, I mean, it's just not, it just wouldn't go well, okay? So, in honor of that, let's do a little review of pumpkin water. That's right, pumpkin pie water. Yep, this is from Aldi. Got this months ago, I think, like uh, last last fall. It's pumpkin pie water. And spoiler alert, people, I'm already going to tell you, it tastes awful. I think this is the last can of it. I figured, eh, it'd be appropriate to do this little review right now. So here we go. There's a pop, people. <laughs> oh, fizzy. Let's give this pumpkin the smell test. Doesn't really smell too much. Well... Cheers. It's awful. They had a couple different varieties of this water at Aldi. Um, I figured it'd be good, you know, pumpkin pie, I like pumpkin spice stuff around the holidays, but it tastes awful. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot I'm leaving out. You need to apologize, Chris. Um, you know, and just the other day I was telling, telling somebody I'm laying off all these other people and I was just going to like make the fuck that guy, bring it back to its roots, you know, to what it's about, the fucking Miller sisters. And, and what you did last night, you know, you've effectively taken the attention off of them from me anyways, for a while. I, I have nothing to say to those two. In fact... I may make uh, a lot of my videos that I've, I've said things about those guys. I may make them private or unlisted or whatever. Because
this. Um, the, you're a danger. You're unhinged, and you're a danger. You know, those other guys, they're a danger too, but they're not a danger to me. You know, not right now. And yes, you know, the guy said, oh, I know where he lives and this and that, but the worst that's ever happened, I've gotten a lot of doxing threats and phone calls and different odd shit like that with emails. But, um, you know, the fucking guy never said he's going to come burn the house down or hit me with a shovel or, you know, not stop until everything I love is gone. I got a five-year-old son, man, you know? saying these things and it's not just me you included everybody in it you know i think most of us many of us we've all got families and little kids man you know like i said i'm, I'm old enough to be your fucking dad man and i have a five-year-old so i'm sorry you can't have kids right now for whatever the reason is i'm not going to start fucking picking on you and mocking you because of that you know what you got to do to fix that situation, buddy. But fucking getting heated and making these threats, that's a mistake. People have gone to the police, I think. You know, it's not going to be me. Um, there is no justice ever served by going to the police, if you don't have to. I mean, I'm not going to call cops on you, man. But, um. Eh, not even going to say it. Um, sorry, this is such a, a rambling video. It'll probably get views. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And again, this, this is a hobby for me. You know, if I make money off anything, I make money off pods, fresh pods in the summer, locally. You know, I'm not making money on hot sauce and tincture. I mean, it probably should be, but it's a hobby for me. Like most of us, it's a hobby. You know, you can call me a failed YouTuber, but I, I never got into this to make money. You know? So, just get over yourself, man. I hope you apologize. I hope you apologize to each and every person who you offended with that horrible shit that you said last night. You know? I have people in my life who care about me and who I care about. And... And, and you probably do too. I mean, I know you don't have little kids, but the things you said are enough to like get in the car and take a fucking hour and a half road trip, man. I mean, now again, I'm not saying I'm gonna do that there. But remember, I smoke cigarettes. I use gasoline and it's a lot cheaper over there where you live, buddy. So. You need to apologize, my man. I don't know. I should be yelling at your heart right now. One minute, I'll be right in. I'm coming. Okay. That's right, people. We're having meatloaf for dinner. Um, oh, it's going to be delicious, too. Um, uh, I think we got to go take the foil off and and check the temperature or whatever. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm rambling, people. There will be more. But, uh, yeah. Please don't. Please don't come here and burn my house down or hurt the people that I love. Please. Oh, boy. You don't know what you got yourself into, buddy. Let's just leave it at that. You better start apologizing. And on that note, people, get the horse. Bye-bye.